How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I just wanted to, it's a bit of a quick video, I'm going to give the uh, cargo container delivery contest mission thing a go. It's on Drowned Lands and uh, yeah I've done it so far, I think I've got about 243 with the Taker, I think about 223 maybe with the, uh, the Twin Steer, although that's a bit awkward, like you don't, it's harder to get a clean run with that. Uh, yeah so I wanted to give the mods a go, so I started off with this Wrecker, I've actually already got it built. Started uh, first thing was this three slot uh, kind of add-on that's uh, sort of unique to this. Started playing around with the flaps, <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, yeah, and I broke them already. <laughs> oh no. It keeps jumping back up to the hood menu like every time you click the uh, the flaps. <laughs> so that's why the bonnet keeps going. Um, yeah, I think it's just banging against the, uh, the wide tyres, but for whatever reason they won't go back up. However, if you kind of click it, yeah kind of make it do the animation again and catch it quickly. It gets back up there. Again, that's what she said. And we're off. Uh, this as well, by the way, I think is a shorter, quicker way just to nip to the factory. Just smash your way out the... So there, there was fences and barrels and everything in the way there. And it's that square to my right, that's where I'm going to be cashing the mission from. This square up here is where you get the uh, container from. So. This is my second playthrough, so I haven't actually got a time set on this yet. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Again, originally I was thinking of using quite a few different mods and seeing which goes the best, but well, you'll see, I tried one other, and uh, in the end I honestly think this is probably going to be the quickest. Tried to squeeze through that gap with the uh, telegraph pole and the wall. If it goes well, it might shave half a second a second off if that. Um, yeah, I did it in the old videos as well, but overall it's not... It's just... It's riskier than, like, the game, really. It's uh, You get a bit of an awkward bounce quite a lot when you're going through there, and you either crash into the telegraph pole, the wall, or you just flip sideways a bit and it uh, slows you down. Probably best just going wide around it. Um, yeah, this was, like, the normal route that I used to use. And as you can see, one thing is it's uh, smashing the truck apart a bit. The fuel tank's already gone, which doesn't matter. You, you've got plenty of fuel to uh, make it there. But the suspension smashed. Unfortunately for this truck, it doesn't actually really make a whole lot of difference to it. It can certainly, when you're in high gear and stuff, it can still maintain its speed in high gear. I'm in auto at the minute, and if I'm honest, after a bit of playing around and testing, yeah, it's, once the suspension's collapsed, you're largely best off just staying in... Uh, high gear because in the auto every now and then it, I think the wheels kind of catch on the sideboard and stuff and do slow you down a bit high just tends to have enough power to power on through whether whether that's happening or not see the cargo containers jiggling around quite a bit but it never actually detached out the, uh, the sideboard in this one and the sideboard is handy because if it ever does detach but you don't quite tip over you could potentially get a second chance and uh, yeah, so, I mean, part of the reason I was curious, now they've added the mods, which was going to be the quickest. I spent a lot of time on this contest back in the day, because I was using this to grind money. I uh, I, I think I've earned about two and a half million from this contest. And uh, yeah, that was way back before I knew about money glitches or anything. Although back when I was doing this, I didn't want to use money glitches. Uh, I wanted kind of the challenge and the grind of the game. By now, to be honest, yeah, I'm fine with money glitches. I've done plenty of game grinding, two and a half million. The game stole about the good couple hundred grand's worth of trucks off me, probably near a half a million quid's worth, so yeah, just money glitching was replacing some stuff. So I got 220 I think that first time, which is pretty decent. This is theoretically a quicker way to go, but that's what can happen to you, you can bump your, uh, I'll show you the way because I end up do using it in the end, but yeah, you can bump your tyres and then when I used to do it with the Tager, if you slowed down enough for that not to happen, you'd kind of lose your high gear momentum and then have to go back to water, and it just cost you seconds either way, which is why I normally went the original way. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing, where you go past the little goddamn professional, there's a big fat rock in the road, it tipped me. I fortunately managed to fling a winch out in time, but I swear a sideboard would be nice, it might have kept that cargo container in. So uh, yeah, the next truck I went to use was this Wrecker, because I kind of figured it's got bigger tyres than the uh, heavy Wrecker, and uh, yeah, it can have a rollback two slot trailer bait, a uh, two slot flatbed thing on the back, basically. Um, yeah, it's just, well, as you can see now, I mean, it's good, but it's sort of too good. <laughs> There's a bit too much power. It's kind of wheelie and it's really spongy on its suspension. 
and uh, I did try a couple of different things. I went down to smaller size tyres and lowered the suspension, but that still wasn't really helping. Then I went to these triple quasi mud things because they sit really nice and wide, so it, for the most part, took the tipping problem out, as you can see there, certainly. Um, yeah, get a bit of a drift on and it nearly went, but... But then there's another problem with this that you'll see coming up. So overall, I'd... unless you get a very lucky run, or unless they tone down the damage or something, then yeah, I don't know if you're going to get a quicker time with this. It's going pretty good so far. I think it's, yeah, it's doing pretty well for time. <laughs> Even when you get to here, though, it's like... So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I say it? to squeeze for that gap. See, and that's what you used to get sometimes with the Tager and other stuff. If you get a funny bounce going up there, you kind of land to where you've not kept your momentum. You have to drop it out of high range, and that costs you a bit of time. As you can see, though, overall, this thing's just pretty erratic, and it's, like, quite hard to maintain. And then that happens. At some point, you're going to get damage suspension. And on this, it's just the way with the suspension. Yeah, it, like, just pokes your tyres you basically ground out whereas the other wrecker at least can still drive and you'll see the same thing happening now I've got the bug tyres on or something so all the grip and everything's great but eventually the tyres break if it hadn't have knocked the cargo container off then I would have tried going down to repair quickly and trying it that way but I still think it'd be lucky to even uh, yeah like it'd need repairing again I think before I got to the end so I went back to this wrecker switched it to double tyres and we'll have another go and a couple of the reasons why I think in the end this is going to be the fastest. One, it feels very nice and stable, even at pretty high speed. You've seen how kind of relatively uh, crazy and sketchy that other wrecker was. I mean, this thing, it has got fairly small tyres. The suspension isn't really that tall or anything anyway. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just planted enough. Apologies, there's a little glitch there, but I have another run later. Um, yeah, it's just... Overall, I think it all sort of works well. The, once you've got the cargo container packed, it doesn't flop left and right enough. Like, the truck's big enough to sort of counter it. Yeah, that's the sh theoretically shorter way, but you've got to get a bit luckier with the bounce. At least with this thing, though, it's very good at staying in high gear once you're actually in it. And these tyres are obviously a lot better than the uh, sort of the stock options the game gives you. This is where, because I still have people mention it now, that um, when I'm driving using Chained in mud, people say, oh, put the muds on. This is the contest that I did, where I did, I've did i done the whole contest, I don't know, 250, 300 times. But I did a good 50 times with the muds, a good 50 times with the Chained, with the Tager. And, um, yeah, I consistently got a faster time with the Chained versus the muds. So... To me, I don't really see any advantage. I don't know if this is true, but I remember seeing somebody said in the comments a little while ago that, I mean, the I've said it already that the chained on this game, mostly for these sort of trucks, are muds just with chained on them. But apparently, according to the coding, they are basically muds. But they've just been told to have, like, ice grip as well. And then, obviously, they've put chains on. So, I think, in that sense... The chained are basically muds anyway, but yeah, I just found they bit through the mud quicker. They found, like, the grippier mud underneath, the soft stuff, and I consistently got faster times. It wasn't just a one-off, and I went into it thinking it was going to be the other way. I thought the muds would be best, so I certainly... That's why I ended up doing about 50 goes with each. I'd just more done the runs with the chained anyway, and uh, I spent 50 goes with the muds trying to beat the chain time, because I figured, uh, yeah, they'd be the winners. So anyway, you can see that time when I got there. I was going really well, trying to get under two minutes was my uh, goal, and then I hit the wall on the way through and that cost me. I ended up getting two minutes two. So this was my last attempt. And uh, yeah, thinking of the other mods you've got, I mean, again, you've got to kind of rule out stuff, or I do anyway. If you've got a trailer, like for example the Tatrin, you could have a two slot trailer and it I don't know how fast the JB Tatrin would do this, probably not as quick as this, but it'd certainly be decent. Um, yeah, I like, the one thing I liked about this mission back in the day is the re repeatability of it. So once you actually get to the end and get your time, you just recover to garage and then drive back to where you get the container, which takes about a minute. Um, now with that little shortcut I was using out of the garage, 
and the fact that I'm getting nearer the two minute times now, you could do this mission every two and a half minutes. So for any of you that don't want to uh, use the money glitch, this is a way you can still, I think is about the quickest way you're going to bank money. You're getting about five and a half grand each time. And uh, yeah, if you can do it every two and a half minutes. Obviously that's using this mod, but I still think you could probably do it about every three and a half minutes with a Tager. Like a base game taker, no mods or anything. Yeah, as you can see, those things gripping along pretty nicely, even with clap suspension. Definitely best, really, just to leave it in high. This time, I didn't even want to go for the risk. Through those trees is good, but it's a bit sketchy. And, uh, yeah, went wide. Through there. And we bagged it. I think, what did I get? 158. So, yeah, sub two minute, which I'm pretty happy with. That's what I was going for. I did it with the rollback this time, the little mini one. And uh, yeah, I reckon maybe a 155 is possible. Maybe better if you get a pretty bloody good run. But yeah, sub two minutes, I'm pretty happy with. So like I said, it's about a quick one for today, so that was about it. But I hope you enjoyed, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Of course, it wouldn't be a video without a goddamn professional. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon.